Hey, what's going on, my friend? NT Izuchi here, your internet marketing coach and mentor, uh, and welcome to this brief video. Now, internet marketers out there, are you looking for a way to quickly give your Facebook marketing a boost? Well, in this brief video, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you how to do that using a Facebook note, uh, but not just creating a Facebook note, but actually creating a backlink, possibly going back uh, to your website if you have a blog, a website, things like that, where you you know continuously create content. Now, a lot of you might be watching this video and you've seen a Facebook note before, but you don't maybe not realize the power of it because one, when you're creating a Facebook note, you're pretty much creating a blog within Facebook, okay? And Facebook likes that because when you uh, create this, it's actually creating a document within Facebook. And so when you're sharing it, um, either to your, your own profile, you're sharing it to groups, you know, that stuff will stick to the top of people's uh, timelines because one, it's a document that is keeping people within Facebook as opposed to a blog post or something like that that you may be sharing going back to your website, okay? Not only that, but when you're creating this Facebook note, you can actually mirror, like directly mirror, uh, a, a blog post that you created and then simply put in the blog link there so that when people go ahead and visit uh, this note, you can give a call to action and say, hey, you know, click this link to, you know, see the original uh, blog post or video that came along with it, okay? So that is a backlink going back to your website. So that can actually send a ton of traffic, okay, going back to your website. Uh, but not only that, but Facebook notes actually do get found in the search engines, okay? Google takes a look at all the documents, anything that is published um, to the internet, and then they rank it, okay? So with time, if you're co constantly creating Facebook notes, you have your keywords in there, things like that, uh, you can actually get your Facebook notes and even your Facebook fan page, things like that, found in the search engine. So in this one, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, okay? So uh, let's just jump right into it. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disappear and give the full screen uh, so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about, okay? So you can see here, this is my Facebook profile. Okay, and so what you're going to want to do first is scroll down and you're going to uh, basically look here on the left-hand side. Now, if you've never created a Facebook note, this may not be here. But if you look here on the left-hand side, it says notes. As you can see, I've created 17. So if you go ahead and click that, Okay, it's going to bring you to this page here, okay, where you can basically click this button, hit add note. Now, if you don't see that, here is how you, uh, one, get the that note section to show up on your left-hand side of your Facebook profile, but also how you just locate it in the first place. If you come right here to where it says more, as you can see, it says notes here, but you may not see that if you've never created a note, all right? And if you do see it there, then you're fine. But what you want to do is come right here to where it says manage sections. You click that. And you basically scroll down to in, in this list and basically locate where it is. And you literally just drag and drop, okay? Like this is uh, YouTube, okay? You can just drag and drop it um, and then put it up somewhere somewhere up here on the top side, right? Now, the first three right here, the about, the friends, and the photos are default, and that's always going to be there. So basically just drag it to the uh, somewhere up to the top where uh, you'll be able to locate it quickly, okay? So what you're going to do is just come here and hit add note. Okay, and you can literally, uh, from here, just uh, start creating uh, your Facebook note or your Facebook uh, uh, um, blog post um, is how I like to consider it. Okay, so the first thing that I do here, uh, well, for actually, what I'm going to do right now is this. I'm actually going to input all this information here just for the sake of time so that you're not uh, you know, stuck here seeing me actually put this thing together. But you would basically create the note here, and you know, in a little bit, I'll show you the different parts to it. Okay, so what I did is basically copy and paste this blog post that I created here on my affiliate website, icwebshed.com, I literally just copy and pasted uh, the words from here, okay, um, the words down here as well, and I just put it directly onto this page. Now, unfortunately, in Facebook Notes, you cannot embed videos um, as far as I'm concerned, um, but that's completely fine, but you can put in an image. So what I'm going to do right now to add an image on here is I'm just going to go to here where it says Browse Photo. I'm going to locate uh, basically the photo that I had um, in this particular blog post. Okay, so if I go to where it says premium blog photos, and I believe it was this one right here. Okay, now you can see here it has the photo uploaded here. But what you want to do is you want to copy and paste basically this uh, little code right here. Hit copy. And you want to go to the top or wherever it is actually you want to put this um, inside of your uh, Facebook note. Okay, you just put it up there. 
okay and so the photo is going to be up there and what I can do is I can come down here and just erase this okay <clears throat> so what you want to do down here is just put in the tags and tags are basically keywords or like or similar keywords that are related to this blog post so I can put landing pages I can put how to create landing pages best type of landing pages okay um, and basically just put in the keyword tags there after that you literally just hit publish and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in just a second okay and so what I did here let me just actually let you know this as well <clears throat> I copy and pasted a call to action here so it says go here for the original post and video and access to the free landing page checklist so when they click here okay it'll bring them to this blog post here where they can actually check out the video and in this video I have a link okay at the end of the video that they can go and get that uh, landing page checklist okay so from there I literally just come right it says publish okay okay it says your note was uh, published successfully so if I go view the note here you click this okay and so this is your Facebook note okay this is your Facebook note alright so if I go to my my profile you can see that the note has been published here okay and people can either click on it uh, they can click directly here okay click on here and they can actually read the note okay so let me pop back on to uh, this video onto this so you can see my face okay so hope that you see the value in this now what you can do now um, is uh, well for one this is gonna stick on the top of people's uh, timelines um, a lot longer because it's actually a Facebook profile and as long as people are liking and commenting on it and stuff like that uh, people you know this will stick to the top of uh, of the people's uh, Facebook timelines okay but what you can actually do with this okay is start sharing this stuff to groups because we all know that when you go to these groups it's just a free-for-all people are just posting their links opportunities and things like that um, but what I find to be way more effective is if you post things like something viral, okay, viral content that most people with that anybody will like, something of value, like a valuable video that where you're teaching something to your particular niche, a blog post, things like that, okay, those are the ones that get most traction. However, when you're posting to these groups, one of my biggest peeves is when people posting to like hundreds of groups a day right when you can literally just focus in on fewer groups that have way more people in them so for example you may be posting into groups that may have maybe a thousand two thousand three thousand maybe even ten thousand people right as opposed to just posing um, posting into groups maybe twenty groups a day that have over fifty thousand members in them so what I did was put together a resource, okay, of Facebook groups that each have more than 50,000 members in them, okay, so that when you're posting your Facebook notes, your videos, your blogs, things like that, your viral videos, they get way more reach, okay, and you're not spamming Facebook as much, okay, so if you're actually interested in getting a hold of that resource, go to fbgroups.withnt.com, there's going to be a link on that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over... Uh, this free resource of Facebook groups that each have 50,000 plus members in them and I also just have a quick video about two to three minutes where I basically talk about some quick Facebook etiquette basically so that you don't get banned because I've definitely been <laughs> blocked before uh, when I used to spam and like do all sorts of crazy stuff so um, I have that quick video in there so that you can uh, basically remain safe okay and, and Facebook jail free okay so again if you uh, want to get that resource fbgroups.withnt.com head over there and I will send that over to you but again I hope that you got some value from this this is a great way to get back Links back to your website. Great way to get a little bit of a little bit more, actually a lot more boost. Okay, uh, when it comes to your Facebook marketing, because one. Facebook sees it, they like you that you created a document within the website and you're keeping people on that website. So again, I hope you got some value from this. Uh, head over to fbgroups.withnt.com uh, and I will see you over there in just a sec. Ciao for now.